um, on the move, monitoring strategies with uh, Personal. So welcome. Good morning, everyone. I am Tawani Casaos. I work at the RNP Presses Point in Bahia. I participated in LACNIC's mentoring project, Women in IT. Marcela was my mentor. And I will speak now about a study that we did for the uh, deployment of PERS Sonar, a monitoring tool. My, this is an outline of my presentation. I will speak about our NP, Recomem, Remesa, Personar. I will speak about a case study, the results, and finally, the uh, what comes next for our project. Our NP is the National Training and Research Network in Brazil. We have uh, s some very important milestones in the history of RNP that was founded in 1989 under the Ministry of Science and Technology. In 1992, they participated in the deployment of the first internet network in Brazil. In the year 2000, they opened their first network with a capacity of 200 mega, reaching uh, around 12,000 research groups at the time. In 2002, it was acknowledged by the federal government as a social organization. And in 2005, among the different projects, the Red Connect program was born. They started building their own metropolitan networks with uh, optic fiber. At the time, Segura e de alta capacidade engloba em seus sistemas universidades. And it uh, covers uh, the uh, systems, uh, hospitals, uh, school hospitals, technology parts, and it is recognized by the society as a social organization that collaborates with uh, the uh, social and development, social and economic development of our country benefiting about 4,000 students, uh, uh, faculty, and researchers. So here we have some details about uh, the uh, Regicomep uh, program. These are the education and research uh, community networks. Here you can see it in the map. You can see the various uh, uh, networks are uh, distributed across uh, the country. They are managed and connected by the POPs, uh, that, oh, those are the RNP uh, um, uh, presence, um, uh, points of presence uh, in each st uh, state. They provide POAs, those are the connection points that uh, are the intermediate between um, the uh, uh, these and uh, the POPs uh, in uh, the capitals. So this offers the deployment of high capacity networks in these regions uh, in the interior of the country, also benefiting uh, virtual labs, uh, remote uh, lectures, uh, participation of uh, scientific research of uh, the various institutions and in the um, uh, Art of sustainability for supporting this program because the same institutions that participate are the ones that build their own fiber optic networks, their own infrastructure, and they sustain themselves. This map shows the Remesa, that is uh, the Salvador Metropolitan Network, that is managed by the POP of Bahia. So, Remesa 
is, as we said, uh, an optic uh, data network that has about 400 kilometers uh, long in El Salvador. It was uh, inaugurated in July 2009, and at present, it provides a service to 37 partner institutions and over 100 connection points. It's a high-speed network with a uh, uh, ring logic topology, redundant and today. Uh, the remesa uh, there are hospitals uh, public and private uh, universities uh, federal and uh, state agencies are connected to remesa and that network also participates in uh, the research and innovation project so here i we uh, represent uh, our uh, optic mesh that is distributed uh, in el salvador it has operated for 15 years and it continues to expand. Today, we already we are providing services to some regions that are close to Salvador, the capital of uh, Bahia, and uh, we are planning to expand to other regions as well. So, uh, Pervsoner, this is performance service oriented network monitoring architecture. It's a kit uh, of uh, tools uh, for measuring the network. It's an open source. Uh, a tool uh, with, through different uh, partnerships, including RNP, and uh, it enables uh, you to conduct a number of tests and measurements linked to a backbone. As to the requirements and uh, the installation requirements, uh, you can check uh, in uh, their website of Perfsonar. So the tests that this tool enables you to uh, carry out are bandwidth, uh, trace route, uh, uh, to name just a few that can be applied to any backbone network. As to the case study, uh, we used uh, the approach of virtual machines where the Popeye, in the Popeye server, we inst uh, installed one of the Perfsonar uh, packets and two different machines, the two in the same network, so that uh, the uh, staff uh, nodes could uh, communicate with each other, making it possible to validate the modules of the tool. Here I am showing a latency test. obtained between the two machines installed in the server where we didn't see any loss of packets. We did see a minimum loss of latency of 0.19 milliseconds. That reflects that uh, the network has a good quality. So this tool provides a web interface that is highly intuitive. The test can be easily scheduled and uh, programmed, and the results are obtained in graphs, among other options. As uh, to the uh, project continuity, we need to uh, complete a second stage of the evaluations. We just uh, completed uh, the initial study for that deployment and uh, considering the extension of Remesa, we need to evaluate strategic uh, points that are more sensitive in the network. Uh, so on the basis of that, we're going to deploy it in microcomputers such as uh, Raspberry Pi and specific points to provide us uh, to, to enable us not just to monitor our assets but also to provide us with a tool that may enable us to conduct uh, real-time tests and mitigate potential problems faster with more precision ensuring the quality of the institutions that are today connected to Remesa so as to the replicability of the study, it is easy to replicate in other networks. The uh, approach to uh, virtual machines is inexpensive. 
not only can it be replicated in com uh, uh, networks, but also in other networks. So this is what I had to tell you. If you have any doubts, if you have any questions, this is my mail. So, And if anybody has any questions now, I'm available. Well, we thank our speaker. Does anybody have any questions for her? Please don't miss this opportunity to ask. So there are no questions for our speaker. Well, anyway, a round of applause for her. And I want to thank you all. I, wa I would like to thank LACNIC for inviting me to be here. This is a marvelous experience. Thank you. Thank you, Tawani.